This is a continuation of the tutorial on the text join function. If you are yet to watch the previous video, you can pause this and click the link in the card above or the description box below, then come back to this. So basically the goal is to combine each phase into a single row and this will be done using Power Query. And thereafter, I'll compare it to the combination of text join, if and filter functions. This tutorial is actually an answer to a question by a subscriber. So before we solve this, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, this is a good time to click the subscribe button. Thank you. So the first step is to load the data into Power Query. Right click anywhere in the data and select get data from sheet or go to the data tab and click from sheet. Here's the data in the Power Query Editor window. You notice that there are 12 phases and some have duplicates. When I click on a cell, you can view the entire content below. So we need to group each phase and combine their respective items. So go to the transform tab and click on group by. Here you have to specify the column to group by and the desired output. The active column will automatically be displayed here, but you can select the column you want to group from the drop down list. So we group by phase, specify the name for the new column here. So name it combined items. You can select the operation you want performed from this drop down list. In this case, select sum and the column to be summed is the items column. Of course, you know text cannot be summed. So when you click OK, you get an error. So now what we need to do is modify the M code. This can be done in the advanced editor window or right here in the formula bar. The M code used for the sum operation is the list.sum. When you click on it, you see the syntax and the description. So this will be changed to text.combine, which combines a list of texts and allows you to specify a delimiter, just like the text join function. The syntax is displayed here, and all you need to do is specify a delimiter in double quote. I'll use a vertical line and space so we can identify the merged rows. Just click outside the bar and the error is gone. So when I click any phase with duplicates in the original data, you see where the rows were merged. Now close and load to. I'll place it right next to the data source and go to the home tab and wrap text. And we are done. Next, we'll see how the combination of text join and if function and text join and filter functions can handle this task. I'll start with the if function. I use the unique function to extract the phases. There are 12 of them. So I want to check if any of the phases are equal to phase one. If true, return the items. Otherwise, return nothing. This is an array formula, so it will return multiple results. If you are using Excel 2019 and earlier versions, you have to press Ctrl, Shift and Enter for this to work. The if function has returned the items. Now, instead of spilling the text, text join will combine the text in a cell. So I'll wrap this formula with text join. The limiter is the vertical line and space true to ignore empty cells and the if function will be the text one argument. Close the bracket and enter. Double click to copy down. Take a look at the results. There are value errors in phase two and six and this is because of the length of their text. Text values in formulas are limited to 255 characters. Let's check the length of the text in each cell using the len function. Len, it has only one argument, so select items and enter. Next, we need to evaluate the formula. So go to the formula tab and click on evaluate formula. This will help us trace the error. Click on evaluate until you find the errors. 
Now you can see that the value error is coming from cell C6 and C8. And this is because their text values are greater than 255 characters. The same thing applies to phase six. Now let's see if the filter function will run into the same error. So filter, array is the range to be filtered and that is the items column. Include is where you specify the condition. Filter records that are equal to this phase. If empty, return nothing. Excel has evaluated each row and returned the items that match phase one. Text join will combine the text in a cell. So text join, delimiter, true to ignore empty cells, and the filter formula will be the text one argument. Enter. Filter function did not return any error and the character limit does not apply to it. The only issue is that the filter function is available to Microsoft 2021 and 365 subscribers. So to wrap up, Power Query and the combination of text join and filter functions are much more flexible than the combination of text join and if functions for long strings of text. That's all for today. If you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe and share the video with your colleagues. I'll see you next time. Bye.